Hey everybody, Robert Miller with 5th Gen Rams .com here and hopefully you can hear me okay. It's a bitter, cold, windy Michigan day, but I have a really cool surprise. Ram actually sent us a new truck to test out, so let's take a look at it. Alright, so this is the truck that Ram sent us. This is a 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel Black Eco Diesel. Uh, the Rebel Black package is all new for 2020. Uh, so is the um, Eco Diesel. So, really cool truck. Right now it's in entry and exit mode. You can see how low it is. We'll take and jack that up here in a second. But I just want to give you an uh, idea of what the exterior looks like. Um, coming around to the front, the Rebel Black gives you the black badging on the front. It also gives you the black skid plates. You get black wheels. But this truck here is pretty loaded. You, with the Rebel Black, this one here has the optional uh, black interior with the Napa leather. As you can see, there's no tire treads on, on these seats. It does say Rebel on them still. Uh, Basically, this one's a Rebel 12, so you do get the 12-inch screen, and you get navigation, and all that fun stuff. You also have an optional hardened carbon sound system, to, uh, basically 900 watts, 20 speakers in this truck. Uh, this one does have the optional uh, panoramic sunroof, which we have in our truck. This truck here also... He, it's a crew cab configuration. It has a ton of room. Um, I am a tall guy. I sit with all the seat all the way back, and you have tons of room. This particular model does not have the reclining seats, nor does it have heated or cooled seats in the back, but you still get your 115-volt uh, outlet. You also get uh, USBs, uh, plugs, both C and normal ones, and you get vents. You also do have a power slider. This one has the Ram box. If you're not familiar with the Ram box, the Ram box, you can store a whole bunch of different things in here. Guns, you can store your bow, uh, groceries. You can even put ice in it. It's got plugs, drain plugs on both sides to drain it out. The driver's side does come with a 115 volt uh, plug. This particular truck has one of my favorite options on the Ram. This is the multifunction tailgate. A lot of people either love it or hate it. And I've actually used it quite a bit, and I wish I would have got it in my truck. I love this feature. It's got a 60-40 split, so you can climb in. And the best thing is, with the truck being in entry-level uh, mode with the air suspension right now, you can just basically walk up on the bumper, use this as a rail, and climb right in the box. So, great feature. Absolutely love it. Uh, the, this truck does have a Mopar bed extender. It also has a Mopar uh, soft tonneau cover, which I do not like the design personally. Um, there's a lot better options on the aftermarket. And I'll explain why in a different video. So again, Mopar side steps, they're nice. A little narrow for people who have a hard time getting in their truck, just because it's an off-road truck, they're tucked in. Um, this truck here has 33 gallon fuel tank because it's a rebel it's got 392 rear gear and you're gonna have to pardon me it's really windy it's only 27 degrees outside in Michigan here and we're running out of daylight but this is the most important option on this truck the brand new eco diesel so let me show you what the eco diesel is all about So I've been really impressed with this motor. I've had this truck for two days now, and this thing is super efficient. It's not fast. It's not made to be fast. It's a little slower than a Pentastar V6, but it's got 260 horsepower, 480 foot-pounds of torque. I think can tow like 10,500 pounds in this configuration. I mean, it's pretty freaking amazing. So. Uh, 
super smooth, super smooth engine. Been very impressed with it. The only thing I can say is a lot of people have are skeptical about it. A lot of people have questions uh, because the second generation had so many problems. It's about 50-50 with the owners complaining about it. So I'm very interested in this powertrain. Um, one thing is this engine does not have engine stop start like the Wrangler Eco Diesel. It's no engine stop start, no shutting off when it comes to a stop. It just idles. I like that feature. I don't like the engine stop start features. But one thing with this truck is the quietness. Now, right now in Michigan, like I said, it's cold weather. It's kind of like we got snow flurries. It's about 27 degrees. If you can hear it, it's not that loud. It's actually idling a little louder right now at a higher RPM because it's cold. But uh, once it gets warmed up, it actually quiets down even more. So let's go take a quick look at the interior. And we'll lift the truck up. So in this interior, like I said, this is the optional black interior. You do get it with the Rebel Black, but uh, you can get it in the other trucks too. Now, down here you have your switch for your air suspension. We're going to lift it up to off-road too, which is the highest uh, suspension setting. So, of course, this has the air suspension. There's five modes of it. And uh, it's a little more bouncy than the coil spring suspension in the, uh, the normal trucks, but uh, it works really good. So, I absolutely love this interior. Instead of having the red like the normal Rebels do, this actually has this anodized bronze look, and it looks awesome. It looks very luxurious, and I'm very impressed with how the truck looks inside. All uh, Ram 2019, 2020 models look fabulous, but this one looks really sharp. There is a couple issues that I have with it, and one is price. This truck, how it's spec'd out, is $71,000 US. That is for a Rebel pickup. Yeah, you pay $5,000 for that Eco Diesel, but $71,000 for this truck is quite a bit of money. Now, the thing that you would think it would, it would be a great luxury truck, but there's a couple things that's missing where you can get a Hemi-powered Limited for the same amount of money and be fully loaded. So it doesn't have like the 360 cameras, it doesn't have uh, the power of uh, the seat settings, um, it doesn't have vented seats up front, uh, no CD player, no uh, phone charger, wireless phone charger. So there's quite a few things that it doesn't have. But overall, it's very comfortable. I'll show you the panoramic sunroof. I know a lot of you guys know about this stuff, but I have this in my truck. I originally wasn't going to get it, and I absolutely love it. Driving these trucks without it makes it almost feel claustrophobic. This thing opens it up big time. Great for nice sunny days. You can get a lot of light in the cab. So, again, you got your power slider, rear window, Uconnect to assist. Um, just, it's a really nice truck. It, overall, it's very handsomely done but $71,000 for a Rebel. Uh, we'll, I'll, as I'm driving it, I'll figure out if it's really worth that or not. But so far, the powertrain has been pretty dang good. Um, I've let the truck idle quite a bit, and I'm still getting well over 20 miles a gallon, so can't believe how great and efficient this engine is. It's, it's even more efficient than the second generation. So um, tomorrow we're putting on a 100-mile loop, so we're going to do mixed highway and city uh, mileage with stop and go traffic. So it'll be pretty interesting to see what this thing actually comes out with. But uh, let's take a look at that air, air suspension as it's lifted. So you can see it jacks up the truck about two inches and it gives that off-road look to the Rebel even more. You do get these Duratrac tires. And I'll tell you something, I was kind of skeptical about, uh, skeptical about the Duratracks themselves. I, um, I've i driven a couple Rebels, and I will say that the, I figured they'd be a lot noisier, and uh, they're not. They actually drive really good. You do hear a little bit of road noise, but not too much. But so far, so good. We do have four to eight inches of snow coming this weekend, that the weather uh, people are saying. 
So hopefully we get to test these, this truck out even more in the deep snow. So if you have any questions about this truck, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. We're gonna have lots of videos on this truck. Multi-function tailgate we're gonna go over. We're gonna go over the Eco Diesel, uh, 100 mile loop, and probably have some fun in the snow with it. So if you have any questions, take and put them in the comments below. We'll try to answer them. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.